One way that you can get better outputs from Bolt is by giving it a reference image to work from. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Go into Bolt, we've got a traditional website set up here. This is for a home improvement company, but there's a homepage that I saw which I really like the look of. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down to the bottom left here, I'm gonna click this upload file button, and I'm gonna upload a screenshot of a hero that I like the look of. Here we go, it's uploaded. Here, Skyline Builders. I really like the layout of this website. It's quite new, it's quite fresh. You don't see it all the time. So I'm gonna ask Bolt to try and emulate this for me. So I'm gonna use this prompt in particular. Use the attached reference image to design the hero section of my home improvement company website. Match the layout, spacing, and typography. Stick to a 12 column grid. And let's see what it does with that. Now, the reason for doing this is often you can give a reference image which contains more details than what you can type out. So if you find something online that you like the look of, use that as a bit of an inspiration to give Bolt more of an idea of exactly what you need. And here we go. We've got a pretty similar sort of layout here. Maybe the boxes are a little big. Let's go full screen and see what it looks like. Actually, that works pretty nicely. Let's do it again. If you scroll down, we've got our premium services and our portfolio, which me might want to change. I'm going to upload another image and see if Bolt can do the same for this section too. Here we go. Here's the other image I've uploaded, our projects. Now we've got kind of eight, grid of eight, and I'm going to give it this prompt. Using the attached image as guidance, build the project section directly below the hero. Keep styles consistent with the hero section. Um, please replace our existing portfolio section with this new one. Create eight projects in two rows like the image. Attached image. Okay, so we're going into a bit more detail. It's got it as a visual cue as well. It's got a picture to refer to, and we're gonna press this to see exactly what Bolt's gonna do. So in the background here, the AI is gonna look both at your text prompt as an instruction and also as the image. It's gonna analyze that image, it's gonna see what it is, it's gonna combine that with the words that you give it, and it's gonna go ahead and create that new section. Here we go, we've got a new our project section. We have it here, two rows of eight projects. It's replaced the existing one, like we said, and this looks pretty nice. Now finally, we're gonna add one more tweak. Let's say we want to add one more row of projects. Please add four more sample projects to the new section that we just added. This is an example of just like an in incremental prompt. It's a small change only and hopefully Bolt will just implement that. So no matter if you're building a whole section or just adjusting one little part of your app, Bolt can do that. And here we go. We've got four more projects added if you scroll down. We should have a total of 12 now, and there we go. So this is a really good example of giving Bolt some additional images of how you envision your website to look through inspiration you can find online or a sketch that you might draw on a piece of paper. So I look forward to catching you on the next one and seeing what you build with it.